What's up guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today, well, we're kind of having a chill day. We're gonna go ahead and get some talisman upgrades, do a couple events, open some gifts, maybe do some enchanting. It's gonna be a pretty laid back day as we get some minor improvements we've been putting off for a while. <laughs> if you still enjoy the Iron Man series, do me a big favor, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already. We're like 3,000 subscribers from 100,000, which is a huge milestone on YouTube. So if you could just kind of hit that red button, it would mean so much to me. Anyways, uh, today is kind of more of a chill day. I don't have anything too major planned. I mean, not every episode can be getting a 200 hour pet or something like that. And my head's kind of hurting today. So you know what? We're just going to take a little bit of a nice day. Uh, the season of Jerry starts in about eight minutes here. So we're definitely going to go find all of the gifts and open up these gifts because they have a chance to give us more snow minions, a custom pet, a decent amount of money, and most importantly, looting four and luck six books because I think we still need another luck six book to put on my Daedalus Axe. Uh, so or at least upcoming Daedalus Axe. I don't have one yet. Still stuck with that one Daedalus stick. So I guess while we're waiting for this event, uh, let's go ahead and do some enchanting. One of these days, we'll get this Siphon 4 book that we really, really are after. Or any kind of tier 5 enchant. You know what? Let's take a shot in the dark. Really? Do I still get a pair? Oh, come on! It totally ate- ooh, luck 6. That's actually not that good. It totally ate my instant find. I'm so sad about that. I would have taken the AXP if I knew it was gonna eat it. Oh, uh, that's okay. No, I clicked the wrong one again. Man, I'm throwing. Hold on, we gotta focus. Let's find that Titanic. There we go. What? Okay, wait, there's two pairs of Titanics. Hold on. Okay. Really? Really? Oh, come on, you had to do me like that, bro? Why? Why? That's fine. Was there anything good besides the Lux 6? No, it doesn't look like it. Only 600k XP. Kind of sad about that. And we only got one Titanic. That's kind of sad. Oh, well. Uh, we have more to try today, so hopefully the other ones for today's enchanting will be better. Something I've never shown is the Jerry event on this profile. At least I don't think I've shown it before. So I figured, you know what? Let's throw on some nice shaders since we'll be sitting still and kind of just enjoying the scenery here. And we'll run through the whole Jerry event. This is how you get the boxes uh, every like five days. This event happens and you just kind of grab this snowball cannon thing. And you just right click and you hit all the magma cubes. And there's five different rounds uh, at the end of every single round. So without further ado, let it begin. Mount Jerry is now erupting. And uh, a little tip for you guys, if you sit on a pet rock, you will not take any knockback and it'll be so, so much easier to hit these things. So you just do this and I guess we'll kind of take you through the first one. Uh, there's five waves, but I won't show all five just because that might take a while. But I will show at least the first couple. Uh, I think they can spawn on the left and the right as well. So we got to be a little bit mindful of that. Uh, another one emerged from the volcano and I don't actually know where it is. Uh, game? Oh, it's over here. There we go. Hello. This is why you use the rock pet. There we go. Yeah. Then you take no knockback and it's way easier to take these guys out. There's probably going to be one on the left now. That is where Qbert's going to land. Okay, can I have my rock pet come over to here? That would be very ideal if he lands like right where I'm standing pretty much. Uh, he does. So we're going to sit on the rock and I messed that up. Aspect of the end, save me. There we go. So now we just sit on the rock, and every time I get over there, man, they just, they get rid of that magma cube so fast. That's fine. The rest are pretty much in the center, so we're just gonna despawn and spawn back to our rock here. And if I could actually sit on it, there we go. Uh, as you can see, skeleton horses are the better option because you can move around with them. And we actually have a skeleton horse. What am I doing? We literally have a skeleton horse. I can just sit here, and now we are on our lovely, lovely dead steed. Uh, running around doing whatever we want. So we see another one over here. Let's go ahead and put a stop to him. There's six cubes left. And we'll see what position we can get now that we're actually using this. Oh, we're not actually taking... We're not dealing any damage. Oh, it's hitting the head of my skeleton. That's probably what's dealing uh, extra damage. And he's so slow because he's level one. I think the further level you get your pet to, the better it, like the faster it runs and stuff. All right, come here, buddy. You need to go too. All of the magma cubes have such creative names too. Like the seventh magma cube is Lucky Seven. Uh, I think number eight is some kind of pun off eight as well, or they just go to like Super Ultra and like Mega Cube or something. Maybe we'll see. 
Well, uh, I don't know what number. I just want to see number eight. Oh, uh, yeah, eight ball. <laughs> they all have little funny, funny names. All right, three left. It's not often I'll use shaders on this series. I think this is like the second time I've ever used it. But I figured it's just kind of nice, a little treat every once in a while, especially when we aren't moving very much just so it looks nice. Uh, but, oh, by the way, you don't actually need to attack these things. Those guys are pretty much completely harmless. The only thing you have to do is stop the magma cubes from reaching the present piles. As long as you do that, and you deal, I think, at least 100 cube damage, then you get all of the gifts that you are able to get. So there we go. Uh, we, somehow that was a new record. I don't really know how that works. Then you just run around and you grab all of the different gifts. Jeez, Az got almost 2,000. That is quite impressive, I will say. Just go to each present pile. There'll be little gifts for you to grab on the ground like this. And now we have to wait seven minutes for the second wave. There's five waves, but the last one is broken, so we can't do it. So I guess I'll see you guys after this event is done and we open up our gifts. It's gift time and we have less gifts than last time, but I guess we're going with 48. So here we go. Uh, again, with the invisible uh, <laughs> invisible presence. So we'll see what we're going to end up getting on this one. And hopefully this is going to go better than last time. We're looking for looting four, luck six, and snow minions. That would be pretty much as good as, as it gets. Uh, I don't actually know how to open these stupid gifts like the most efficient way possible. I thought we were just supposed to like, spin in circles like this. Uh, so far, no books, which is rather disappointing. I'm really hoping to get a couple because they're so, so important on Iron Man to get. But uh, we're a little bit over halfway through the white gifts, so that's... And that's not really reassuring, actually. I was gonna say it was reassuring, but not particularly. More or less just coins and EXP from the white ones, but that's that's pretty normal, I would say. So, last couple ones here, and then we'll move on to the greens, which give much, much better rewards. Three more, two more, one more, and that's all. The hitboxes, I know, right? They're so great. So here we go. Now we can go to the green ones. These will hopefully give us some better stuff and at least one of each book. That would be awesome. Combat XP boost 3. That's pretty decent. Uh, I mean, I guess that's good enough for one frag run of a dungeon. Or not frag run, but rose run, I suppose. Because a lot of people keep asking me to do those. But they're so darn slow because I don't have implosion. So if you're wondering why I never did that, that's why. There's the green ones. And here we go. Uh, just eight red ones left, so we'll see if we're gonna get any books. Probably not. Snowsuit chestplate, that's not bad. And there we go, that's all the gifts. Did we really only get a snowsuit chestplate? That's so sad, man. <laughs> I have, oh, two more, two more reds and one more green. And that should be everything. Dang, we got absolutely nothing. That is, that is pathetic. That is honestly sad i it, wow wow that that was horrible <laughs> oh well no books at all no books at all that's okay actually this is a very special clip if we go ahead and talk to the baker we're claiming not just any skyblock cake the 200th skyblock cake and i'm i'm very happy i didn't miss this because i well i almost did so if we go ahead we'll find our cake it is a uncommon so it's in our green and let's go ahead and throw this in. That is a very special cake. I didn't end up getting the 100th because the profile was uh, too old or new or whatever the correct... I can't even think. So, there we go. And we can put this back. And now we have the 200th Skyblock cake, which is a very cool cake, I must say. Hunter Ring. And this is a lot of gold, a lot of wolf teeth, which we already have, the Hunter Talisman, and the Grizzly Bay, which we already have. So the only thing I need is about... 8,704 enchanted gold. So I've just been sitting here mining gold for, I don't know, like a little over an hour and a half right now. And I still need to mine a little bit more, but uh, that's that's kind of my next plan. I also want to get the Red Claw artifact, which also costs gold, so I'm getting the gold for that at the same time. But I also need two stacks of enchanted leather for that, and I only have one, so I don't think that's something I'm going to craft today. I think that's enough gold. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. So I need 8,704 to have all of the gold I need. Yup, that's enough. So here's the interesting part. If we take a look at the Hunter Ring recipe, it's Grizzly Bait, the Hunter Talisman, which I already have, and three and a half stacks of gold teeth, which I have to craft individually pretty much three at a time. This is gonna take like half an hour of just crafting wolf teeth. I'm not looking forward to this. 
So I guess let's just empty out the inventory. And, uh, sorry, someone's mowing the lawn outside. Uh, I'm just gonna empty my inventory completely. And we have a lot of gold to go through. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm gonna cut all this out, and in about 20 minutes, we'll have the talisman. So I'll see you then. Think that should be it. I should have exactly enough here if I do this. And 32. So I can put this away. And now we just need to find the grizzly bait. Where did I put the grizzly bait? It's probably right here. Here we go. So there's that. And I've actually never owned this talisman before. Funny enough, I don't believe I've ever owned this. Uh, I think the order is like this. And then we just kind of... Actually, wait, it's just 32 on each, so I can do it like this. Uh, I really did that wrong. Wow. Like this, this, and boom. The Hunter Ring plus 5% combat XP. That's super nice. And there is another huge talisman done. That one that was actually pretty important compared to a lot of the other ones. Now, I do have more gold. And I should probably just turn the rest of this gold into Wolf Teeth 2 and prepare for when I get the leather for the Red Claw artifact. So let's go ahead and do that. Something we just barely have enough for is that talisman I started working on a few days ago. Uh, this is a few days later than recording the last clip for it. But the Red Claw Egg talisman is finally done. Let me just kind of clean this out of my uh, inventory a little bit. I have to do another ender chest kind of deep clean here soon. Let's grab this. I'll grab one of that for something else in a bit here. But we need the 48 enchanted gold teeth, or is that 52? 54 maybe? Oh well, we need this, and we need the red claw ring. And I believe if we arrange it like this, with the three teeth like this, and then the leather like that, we can make the red claw artifact, which is another epic accessory, meaning if we recombobulate it, well, it'll be a new legendary. So that is, that is actually, we're getting really dang close to maxing out our talisman bag. I mean, check this out. This is everything, including all future upgrades for all talismans. This list is getting pretty small, and I'm very excited about that. I think the next ones I'm going to focus on are the two uh, zombie artifacts, spider artifacts, uh, as well as the uh, bat person artifact and candy relic whenever spooky festivals come up. But the biggest one is the scarf grimoire. For some reason, I still don't have that. Oh, also the other one, the Catacombs Expert Ring. I don't have that either for some stupid reason, even though I've done like 500 floor seven. So we'll have to do those definitely in another episode, though. Next up on my list is to grab our puffer fish. We need this, and let's go to the hub. And this is going to be a new one, and this is why I was grabbing the leather, because there is a talisman that we're going to need. I'll grab 32 just for now, because I only want to make one of these. But there is a talisman that is involving a lot of fishing, specifically the bait ring and the spiked atrocity. So to do that, I'm going to start making a fishing sack. Right now, I can only make the small one because it requires a obnoxious amount of puffer fish. So I can only make a small one for now, but I'll keep buying puffer fish from the NPC every day. And hopefully eventually get a medium and a large one. So let's grab the rest of our puffer fish and boom. Yeah, we only have four. I think we need like 32 or something for the next upgrade. But hey, a small fishing sack is way better than none at all by far. So that's really good to have. And I wonder how many more we can fit in our sack of sacks here because we're actually running out of space kind of. Oh well. But uh, anyways, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Iron Man. It might be a little bit shorter than my normal episodes, but there wasn't really much I had planned. So I figured let's just do a ton of small things in today's episode. And the next one, I have a pretty big talisman upgrade a lot of you guys have been mentioning in the comments that I needed to get still. So look forward to that. It's a pretty exciting one. It'll increase all of our stats. There's a little hint, at least most of our stats. So if you're looking forward to that, do me a big favor. If you end up enjoying this video, leave a like down below and subscribe if you made it to the end. We are ridiculously close to 100,000 subscribers on the channel, which is a huge milestone. So if you can take just two seconds, these videos take a long time to make. Your support is incredibly appreciated, so just hit that red button. Help me reach 100,000. It would mean the world to me anyways. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.